Okay, we got Bruver here, and I don't like this guy. He is damn powerful. Eavesdrop is what we want to play early. Did not a swindle. J. Constantine. I'm still playing Hearthstone, waiting until the Bronze patch uh, to play Gwent again. Yeah. I think the game just gets more and more aggressive and shies away more from... Uh, well, it just it just tries to go... The, the, the kind of decks I'm running into are, are less ability-based and they're just like more... Uh, more interested in just dealing damage to you. Not many people play cards like, Hey, Tax Collector, let's just generate one value a turn. Yeah, if you play this guy, and we're gonna do it. But we're probably gonna... The Summoning Circle is so good. I think we gotta keep it for later. No, dwarves do not qualify and he even has extra moves, I think, on top of it. Half the year, no sun in Scotland. <laughs> can can you give us a, a quick reap cap of what Jason Slama said or what what there is what well, what there is to know about uh what they're gonna do? With range is boring. I just like to see more options because currently I think damage is 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 just very good. I just I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do about it. I don't want to say it, but it, it kind of feels like they simplified Gwent and they kind of designed themselves slightly in the corner and now everything is damage and you can't have any other control and and everything else is just kind of struggling to stay alive. Like, for example, you have an abil ability like Order. Yeah, that's fine. That's a fine ability. You play it and it's a delayed effect, but in a, in a, in a game that, you know, that's all about damage, Order doesn't make sense. Because everything dies as they get played. And they added a guy, I think he's gonna we're gonna see it. Uh that like a five power, five cost dwarf. Uh that has shield on it. I just that's just so boring. I, I don't really get it. But that that is kind of the guy that you kinda need to play in the current Gwent. But still, it's uh it's a sad cat sad Sad card to see. Game. Uh, we can steal the dryads. Do I slander? Ah, uh, we can slander the dryads. Then play. Yeah, let's slander the dryads. We intend to kill it and just pass. The Syndicate has made it more interesting, but it's still grand. The Skellige card game. Wake up, <laughs> dwarves! Humans lust after our lady folk! Huh? Alright, let's go with Bounty Guy. The job's a job. We're at seven. Should I just apply a bleed to everybody? Then we can slam Siggy. Well, this this is still going to trigger. So these are gonna slowly die. You can just play the ship. We're the best regiment in the whole plowing north. Okay, let's say we're gonna Siggy. And we have to rely on Philippa here. Gain some points if we go with that approach. Like we will. Uh, no, we can just eavesdrop and make him bleed. That eavesdrop. You feel a draft? Then shut the door. Ah, that's good. So we're gonna put the witch hunter at the bottom. Gonna be up top and just wait. We have maximum gold. We go to round three. 
I do like uh, summoning circle, but sometimes they have the the perfect counter to it. Sorry, guys. Uh, I was concentrating too much on trying to win the round. Let's kick this. BNC is okay. And we might need to keep this guy. Uh, let's pass. <clears throat> I'm trying to make an anti Syndicate Eldane deck. All order cards are bait now. <laughs> oh man. At TLDR, Slumber left Grant after homecoming. They fucked up, they learned, and by the end of the year, Grant will be good. Wow. Now I want to read it. Exactly to know how will it be good. I know it's kind of a... I, I, I should read it. Like, if I'm interested, I should just read it. I know that. Really not much in there other than the than Boris. This is fine. I, I think we want a bomb bunty guy. Just to even if the summoning circle breaks. Gonna be fine. But it's not gonna break, like if he kills the summoning circle. That's what I mean. I'll get it in my opinion, Evolt should be order. Which hunter should be six points. But if they made it order, then it would be uh it would be a dead card. <laughs> so <laughs> you know, th there's a problem there. They can't make order cards. They're completely dead. Uh we can't really play Beansy. I'll just go with Tax Collector. Any kind of charge mechanic is OP. Uh, like with Syndicate. The Stall and Bounty, they do a million damage last turn. Yeah, that's the advantage of uh, Syndicate, that they have a lot of bursts. You know, if you can transform your gold into damage, and you can actually add gold... Like, for example, Godron can have 9 gold plus gain nine more gold plus gain profit so evolt can just shoot for a stupid amount when we had uh, the freak show it was even more ridiculous now we can kill that technically what should i play this turn what to play I can bounty market, but then he's gonna move this guy, and we're gonna be in trouble. We can just BNC, and it's not gonna be a good BNC, but it's gonna be something that will force out. I don't think the Brigade Brigade is gonna gain a lot of value. Probably gonna force out the move. It's not great now, but like, come on, it's Bruger. Oh, look at that, I dub. So, that was a decent time to play it. Repeat its deployability. And it's gonna be moved to another row, because I move it to my own row. But it's also a good time to consider playing some gold. But I can't play a lot of gold here. Oh, we can play... Calab Manga. Then he has the choice between Beansy and Calab Manga shut down. And we get, uh, of course, uh, some Beansy boost here. This is why Hearthstone has removed charge and why deploy is overcoasting Gwent. No chance to interact. Yeah, that's what I would like. Interaction. What I would like is that the players build up a board. Not like, hey, I play something and it's dead. Hey, I play something and... And I fucking hate these hard counters. I don't get it. I don't get it whatsoever. What, what is the fun in this? Because, you know, like, what does it say? Uh, like, this. 7 points, 8 power. Or like, okay, 7 power, 8 cost. And what does it say? Like, either it's a 7 for 8, or win the game. Great. 
What a card. We need these guys in the game. Easy peasy. What's not to love? Do I need to spend some gold here? Okay, let's say we spend a little gold. I don't like to talk about it because I, I feel like I just sound like I just sound viney, and I don't want that. But <laughs> like, I don't want to sound viney. But god damn it, I think it's a design flaw. If he steals this guy, he's actually gonna deal extra damage. I think. I've no mercy for your kind. No? Well it's oh it's actually not moved to the other row, it's it's moved to the same row now. Oh, yeah, board yes, state. Uh, building a board state for your strategy. Uh -huh. There's almost no viable free card combos. <laughs> yeah. Barnabas. So that's a good target. It's gonna give me a lot of gold. And we need to target it. Time the north was cleansed. <laughs> We've lived in isolation for too bloody boost. long. <laughs> okay. So we can use all our golds. But Morales might find a good target. We don't really know what he's boosting, but apparently he has a dwarf left in his hand. And what is that? I don't get what his last card is. He played an agitator. Is it a... Uh, is it a skirmisher? Is it... I think it's a skirmisher. I don't think that's something huge. Or the five point shielded. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I got twelve points, and you have whatever. Oh, oh, he he doesn't even have a door. Yay! We won against Brewer! We got him! GG! Okay, we kick the ship and we don't want this guy. Uh, placing a Monty might be okay. Let's kick this. She heal? Oh yeah, she heal was good, but I think the spears were even more annoying. And shields were bad spears? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't really like the... Well, artifacts, I think artifacts would be awesome, but you know, what if you place the artifact on a unit? I know that would be... That would be extremely risky. <laughs> Damn. I'm not saying that if the unit dies, then the artifact dies, but you know, like, at least, at least the unit has to keep it. Like, for example, I played this guy. Then I can place the summoning circle on him. Oh, I think we need the summoning circle last round. Heels can be filed then you need to have another place. unit who carries the artifact. And if you have no more units to carry it, then the artifact is destroyed. It's not, like, not something you slam on the board when you start. Oh. See that guy. Yeah, I can just... Maybe have some gold generators here. Sit I'll wash it away. I would like that idea. Or at least I would like to try it out. I would like uh, them to like try out dumb things like this in the in the seasonal mode. The seasonal mode is kind of fun for like you know a day or two. Personally, I think it's like a fun. 
bomb game mode. It's like, okay. But usually it gets figured out pretty fast, you know. It, like, it, like the current one is like, hey, you just play the, play the biggest guy, right? Play the most costly unit that has the strongest ability, right? That's kind of what you do. So it's not that hard to figure out. Oh, we can actually play an eavesdrop. Safe to be and we want to put that guy at the bottom. We're gonna get out the ship. I think the the seasonal mode is okay, but I, I think there's more Resistance more to, to it. Play. Uh -huh. How does portal work? It's amazing. You play it, and your opponent plays the artifact removal on it, and you lose the game. But if that doesn't happen, then you can play it twice in a long round, and you want to use it on a low-cost unit. And because the syndicate units are amazing, uh, the low-cost units, usually can the portal can get a lot of value. And you can choose the unit. Hopefully we're gonna have the... the well, hopefully I will have the chance to show it this, this game. Yeah, let's just double spend there. Maybe we're gonna do a slander. Does he have a hard counter to the Sea Jackal? Alright, we're good. Oh, uh, we can just pass. So the portal is really good in the long round. That's kind of what I'm playing for. I don't care too much about the slander. And I got you. Got to keep in mind how many spenders you got, and we don't currently need the sea jackal. Swindle is something we can play here for free, which will give us more gold next turn. But we also give up a mulligan, so. That's something that needs to be considered. Considering how many good cards are in my deck, and we have the Eternal Fire Disciple at the bottom. I don't know, it's tough because we get extra gold right at the start. Both good. I'll just get the extra gold. Oh my god. Nine gold. Damn. <laughs> we got out the ship. Noise. Portal just summons two. Uh, four point. Four or five point. Sometimes you can uh, get away with summoning a five point card. But also one of the key advantages of Portal that is rarely talked about. Is that the Portal allows you to play two card to turn. You can play a card from Portal, and you can play one from Hand. Sometimes you can play one from the leader, if you play a faction like that. So you can technically play quite the combo. So with that, you can Portal out the Hubert, for example. It doesn't seem like a... Insanely worth it, but... If you can just do some crazy damage one turn... Like, it needs to be a deploy effect. Of course, you got delayed damage, but you can also get out the Hubert and like, just do some crazy uh, damage, and you you just portal out the Hubert, and and you're good. Let's pass. And uh, summon is weaker than play as summoned cards do not deploy their effect. We're mixing up portal and summoning circle. Oh, uh, summoning circle plays so. Yeah. I like to call this summoning portal, but yeah. Uh, portal is okay, but uh, it's more situational. It's more of a tempo move. It's something you want to play with value generators, with four, four cost uh, value generators, non deploy, non play effects. You just. It usually mostly played in normal realms. So, these guys we want to play from the deck. Actually, I'm not sure if tomorrow is what we want. I'm pretty sure that she's just weak, but I also need to have units in the deck that I play out. 
This is not the best hand. So, we have a choice of you playing the tax stop! collector. Please! Oh. Uh. Or the summoning circle early. Either kind of works. I think summoning circle might be better. That's a good target. And portal is basically the only way to get value from Simulate because it immediately drops two units and hopefully you get one extra point to pull the bronze engine out of a uh, kill range while the other dies. <laughs> Come on. You gotta be more optimistic than that. Well, the thing is... Uh, Engines are also very strong, so it kind of makes sense that you have strong counters to it, but... I'm not sure how they're gonna balance the game. Ooh, Blue Stripe Scout. Oh, that seems pretty weak. So... You can just play a Tax Collector. No, dwarves do not qualify for childcare tax relief. There are things in the universe of uh -oh. which even the sages That's have really weak. <laughs> so we will have a chance to play a witch hunter next turn. And we you guys will see, not like <laughs> I expect uh, most of you to be surprised by this, but we can play a witch hunter and and the same turn play Graydon. So there will be no chance to stop it. But there's actually a decent uh, argument to just play Calab Manga here because there's nothing else to do. Also, we gotta consider playing Beansy soon. But he's not playing any value generators, which is just odd. I'm a special player for you, Chappelle. Uh, waiting for the ship would have been acceptable, but I think we're gonna have the the amount of gold that's gonna make it just okay. Yeah, weak engine unit decks can get two engines on the board in one turn at the beginning of the round. Francesco is the best at that. Oh, nice. So now we can play a bounty guy. We can, we have two plays. Either we play out B and C, we can Bounty Mark, Selkirk. Actually, that's gonna be too much gold. That would be too much gold, right? Yeah, we would, we would have way too much gold. That's not good. But I still need to play Beansy somehow. Well, we can play Beansy and maybe she's not going to die. We can kill. Six. So she's gonna go up to a six. We're not getting out the card right now. Although, getting out the Sea Jacko would have been okay. We ride into the fray! It's fine. So we need to play Tamara later. A little awkward. But we can just play a Sea Jackal. Three. Doesn't. Not the best. They don't corpses. Except sometimes. They're quite fresh. They're Angusta as well. They pay the tribute. Goes to six. 
I think we're gonna boost with the Sea Jackal. Then wait. Hey, where do you think you're going? Yeah, one more bounty we can play. Okay, Temple Guard, fine. Uh, Blue Stipe Scout is still an okay target. I think we're gonna mark it. So these are all Witch Hunters, so we gotta play this before Tamara, which is a little awkward. Also, don't forget about the ship. I time the North was cleansed. Okay, let's just mark him. That looks like a lost game to me, to be honest. This is a pretty bad matchup. Oh, uh, really? Okay. How are we gonna lose this game? Or maybe not? Looks like he has too many bronzes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How would we? How would? He, how would he win against me? Two stripes are yet to pounce. So we're gonna see. We have two spenders, so if the witch hunter executioner dies, we're okay. Some German. Come on. My lords, all night. He, he loses the bounty tag. Oh. That's not good. Huh? Well, the thing is, if we bounty mark the guy in the back, and when we do that, we have seven gold. It's gonna be one hell of a murder. And it's gonna happen in two turns. Uh, we can also just boost the guys. Because these are gonna die. This is going to die. Enough! Do something! Stop mucking about! I can kill one of them, but it's not gonna be great. Some things can't ever be forgiven. Okay. So he can kill one, but that's not that amazing. Hey Gryo, I can't play anything other than syndicates, to be honest. Good night. <laughs> what? Uh hey! Syndicate is an awesome faction, and I really hope they're gonna they're gonna design the other factions more like Syndicate. Skadig is just as strong. It does seem like Syndicate decks tend to be more aggressive now. Blow up one of the fours. Love to hear back from Essex. Not that it helps. That. More of those guys. Sure. The goal is to bounty mark, mark Drog and we kill it. Summoning circle, as you guys see, like it's not that hard to get at two guys. I'm gonna need the witch hunter. Magic souls. All chaos. gets marked. Oh, wait for the best buyers. Well, that's GG apparently. Well, but mad respect for playing. Uh, no realms. I'll play it. 